How can anyone compete with SpaceX? Every aerospace organization has its own strategy, but China stands out with its aggressive approach, which is copying and rapidly iterating. Backed by massive government support and private investment, China's space sector is advancing fast. A key example is iSpace, which recently secured major funding to accelerate development, refine rocket technology, and advance reusability. But will this be enough to close the gap with SpaceX? Let's dive into their progress on today's episode of Great SpaceX. For those unfamiliar with Chinese aerospace, iSpace, officially known as Beijing Interstellar Glory Space Technology Company Limited, might not ring a bell. However, it stands out as one of China's most prominent private aerospace companies, primarily due to its strategy of closely mimicking SpaceX with its Hyperbola rocket series. Recently, iSpace has once again secured significant backing. On the 11th of March, the company announced a Series D funding round worth several hundred million yuan, translating to tens of millions of dollars. This investment comes from the Sichuan Provincial Industrial Fund, backed by Sichuan Development Holding Company Limited, and led by the Sichuan Tianfu Xinyun Digital Economy Development Fund Company Limited. This latest funding follows the Series C and C Plus rounds announced last September, which supported the development of the Hyperbola 3. These rounds have also benefited other Chinese aerospace firms, including Deep Blue Space, with investments often reaching tens of millions of dollars. With this strong financial backing, iSpace has the resources to advance its flagship rocket Hyperbola 3, an unmistakable attempt to replicate SpaceX's designs. Hyperbola 3 is the third iteration in the Hyperbola rocket family, incorporating key SpaceX-inspired elements. It runs on liquid oxygen and methane, similar to Starship, and is powered by the Focus series engine. The two-stage rocket stands 69 meters tall, closely resembling the Falcon 9. However, its payload capacity falls short, only 13.4 tons to low Earth orbit when expendable and 8.5 tons when reusable, significantly lower than Falcon 9's capability. iSpace's approach is methodical, borrowing what it sees as the best aspects of SpaceX rockets and integrating them into its own designs. But beyond rocket development, the company is also building a large-scale production and testing infrastructure. In Mianyang, Sichuan, iSpace is establishing a 35,000 square meter manufacturing facility to produce up to 100 focus engines annually. Their testing facility is also set for major expansion to support aerospace enterprises across Sichuan and the broader Chinese space sector. According to the company, once fully operational, the facility will conduct up to 100 tests per year on 100-ton liquid rocket engines, delivering an equal number of engines annually. iSpace aims to achieve orbital flights with Hyperbola 3, targeting a debut launch this December. Remarkably, they are already planning a sea recovery for a booster, a technique pioneered by SpaceX using drone ships. If successful, the company intends to attempt a reusable test flight as early as June next year. However, Hyperbola 3 is not the final goal. iSpace is also planning a heavy lift variant, Hyperbola 3B, which features three boosters in a configuration reminiscent of the Falcon Heavy. This version is designed to increase payload capacity and further enhance China's commercial launch capabilities. Rocket designer Rong Yi from the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, or CASC, emphasized the benefits of rocket reusability, stating, After rockets can be recovered and reused, the main changes we'll see are faster launch frequencies and, of course, a noticeable reduction in launch costs. Further added, this shall bring us closer to the reality of large-scale, rapid, and free access to space. From a technological development perspective, the application of recovery technology will drive upgrades and innovation in our capabilities. Despite its ambitions, iSpace faces significant challenges in competing with SpaceX. 
the company has struggled with reliability in its Hyperbola rocket series. Of the seven Hyperbola 1 missions launched, four ended in failure, a poor track record for a company aspiring to rival the world's most successful commercial spaceflight provider. An eighth launch is planned for this year, though the timeline remains unclear. Faced with these setbacks, iSpace pivoted to Hyperbola 2, its first liquid-fueled rocket using the JD-1 engine. However, after multiple tests and delayed launch plans, the project was scrapped in July of 2023 in favor of focusing on Hyperbola 3. However, development has been relatively quiet throughout 2024, and the planned launch date has already been pushed back. Given the company's track record, achieving a successful orbital launch remains uncertain. Their biggest challenge yet is their ambitious plan for sea recovery. So far, only SpaceX has successfully executed this technique, while even well-funded competitors like Blue Origin have struggled. Attempting such an advanced recovery method so early in the development process could prove extremely difficult for iSpace. Additionally, iSpace's approach of selecting and merging different elements from various SpaceX rockets might lead to engineering incompatibilities, further complicating development. Meanwhile, SpaceX remains in a league of its own. The Falcon 9 continues to dominate with an unmatched record in reusability and cost efficiency. The Starship program, though still in development, is making rapid strides, positioning SpaceX as the driving force behind the future of space exploration. With its extensive experience, established technology, and unmatched launch cadence, SpaceX remains an insurmountable competitor. Even with strong government and investor backing, iSpace's efforts could easily be overshadowed by just a single successful SpaceX mission. So, with its copycat strategies and significant funding, can iSpace succeed in catching up to SpaceX? Let us know your thoughts by commenting yes or no down below. And if you enjoyed this analysis, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's groundbreaking advancements. The Chinese aerospace industry is not just seeing iSpace adopt a copycat strategy. Many other organizations are following the same approach in an effort to accelerate their progress. One of the most notable examples is Landspace, arguably the most successful among China's private aerospace firms. With Zhuchui-2, a methane liquid oxygen or methalox rocket heavily inspired by SpaceX, the company became the first in the world to reach orbit with a methalox-powered rocket in 2023. They followed this milestone with another successful launch late last year. Building on this momentum, Landspace is now developing Zhuchui-3, a heavy-lift rocket that surpasses Falcon 9 in size while maintaining the same methalox propellant combination. This ambitious project aims to further establish Landspace as a leader in China's growing commercial space sector. Another key player is Space Pioneer, which is aggressively developing the Tianlong series. The upcoming Tianlong-3 rocket, set for launch this year, is widely regarded as a near-exact replica of the Falcon 9. It stands at 71 meters tall, has a diameter of 3.8 meters, and runs on liquid oxygen and RP-1 kerosene, closely mirroring SpaceX's workhorse rocket. Meanwhile, a newer startup, Cosmoleap, has also drawn attention with its Leap, or Yuechian, rocket. The company is developing a booster recovery system strikingly similar to SpaceX's Starship catching mechanism, using a larger tower system to capture returning rockets. To accelerate construction, Cosmoleap is actively seeking additional funding. Deep Blue Space, another Chinese space company, is focusing on a spacecraft design that strongly resembles SpaceX's Dragon capsule. When paired with the Nebula 1 booster, the system will function similarly to Blue Origin's New Shepard, further illustrating how Chinese companies are integrating successful Western designs into their own programs. Other notable firms include or Orion Space, which is developing the Gravity Rocket series, and CAS Space, which is working on the Kinetica rocket family. Many of these companies receive strong financial and government backing, just like iSpace, allowing them to advance rapidly despite their reliance on imitation. However, as seen with iSpace, success is far from guaranteed. 
These challenges highlight the difficulties of replicating SpaceX's achievements, even with substantial funding and state support. Despite their aggressive strategies and rapid development, these companies still face a long road ahead. Matching SpaceX's capabilities, let alone surpassing them, remains a distant goal. It'll be interesting to see how these firms evolve in the coming years and whether their copycat approach will eventually yield real competition in the global aerospace industry. And that's about all for the Eastern Front. Let's check back in on the West. Rocket Lab is off to a strong start this year, setting new records and demonstrating impressive launch efficiency. After a quiet first month with no flights, the company has quickly ramped up its launch cadence. On March 18th, 9.31 p.m. Eastern, Rocket Lab successfully launched another Electron rocket, delivering five Internet of Things satellites into orbit for the French company Canis. These satellites were deployed into a 650-kilometer orbit just over an hour after liftoff. This mission, called High 5 marks the fifth launch Rocket Lab has conducted for Canis, completing the company's 25-satellite constellation. Previous missions were launched in June, September, and November of 2024, as well as February of this year, with this full constellation in place, Kines aims to provide seamless global connectivity, allowing users to track, monitor, and receive real-time alerts from connected devices anywhere in the world. Rocket Lab highlighted this capability, stating, Kines can connect any object from anywhere in the world and transmit useful data from these objects to users in near real-time. For Rocket Lab, this marks their fourth launch of the year and their second mission this month. What's even more remarkable is that this flight occurred just three days after their previous mission on the 15th, setting a new record for the company's fastest turnaround between launches. These milestones highlight Rocket Lab's growing operational efficiency and increasing launch frequency. This sustained growth further solidifies Rocket Lab's position as the second most active launch provider in the U.S., trailing only SpaceX while outpacing major players like Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance. Rocket Lab's continued success plays a crucial role in maintaining U.S. dominance in the space industry, particularly in the face of increasing competition from China. Alongside SpaceX and other emerging aerospace companies, Rocket Lab is proving that the U.S. remains at the forefront of the global launch market. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.